Hey, what's up, guys? Kartik PP here. Today we're gonna learn string reverse without using library functions. So basically, what is string reverse? As the name itself suggests, we are reversing the input string. So let's look at the input string. If the input string is A, B, C, D, and E, the output string or the reverse string should be E, B, C, D, and A. So this should be the output. So we'll hit it to the code and later come to the tracing part so that we can understand this program much more so we are coding right now let's include all the header files that you need Character array of 10 size 10 integer. We need i, j, and yeah, 10. Let's initialize i to 0. Now we should input our string. Enter the string. Scanner. Yes, the string A. So now we are done with the input part. So now we should initialize I to the first element and J to the last element. So I should point to the first element, J should point to the last element. So here's the problem. How can you point? To the last element of a string in arrays you can just do it by mentioning j is equal to n minus 1 but that's not the similar case with string so what we do so the better solution is the easy method is find the length of the string and subtract the length of the string by 1 so it will point to the last element of the string so let's do it str length of a minus 1 so now j will point to the last element of a string and i will point to the first element of the string so now let's hit into while loop so in the while loop we are mentioning i should be less than j that's the condition so whenever i is less than j the block of code which we will write in the while loop will execute. So whenever i is less than j, put a of i in the temp and put a of j in a of i and finally put temp in a of j. So basically we are swapping here. We are swapping the first and the last element of the string. So after this we have to increment the i value by 1 and decrement the j value by 1. So we are done with the logic. Now we have to print our reverse string. So printf our reverse string is percentage as a let's see how much so now we are done with the coding stuff this is the code for string reverse without using the library function let's trace it so I will continue with the same example We'll set the index. So as per the code, I should point to the first element and J 
A should point to the last element. So here, after this, we are entering to while loop. What's the condition here? If i is less than j, yeah, 0 is less than 4, yes. So what we should do? Put a of i in temp. So temp will acquire the value of a. Then put a of j in a of i. So a of 0 will become a of j in the sense e. And finally, put temp in a of j. So a of j is a of 4. What's the temp? Is j. Increment the i value by 1 and decrement j value by 1. So after the first iteration, our string will look like E, B, C, D, and A. Here we have swapped A and E, the first and the last element of the string. So let's index this I, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I have incremented by one value, so I will point to A of 1, and J has decremented by one value, so J will point to D in the sense. A of 3. So once again we will hit into while loop. If i is less than j, 1 is less than 3, obviously. So put a of 5 in temp, in the sense put b in the temp. And what's next? a of j in a of i. What is a of j now? a of j is a of put sorry sorry it's a of i a of i we have to put a of j in a of i so a of i is a of 1 and a of j is a of 3 that is d now put temp in a of j so a of j in the sense a of 3 will acquire the value of temp the value of temp is b Increment the i, decrement j. So after our second iteration, our code will look like e, b, c, sorry, d, c, b, and j. So here b and d are swapped. Let's write the index. So now we are incremented the i value by 1 and incremented the j value by 1. So here i and j points to the same element in the sense a of 2. Let's check the while loop. Whether i is less than j? No. i and j are pointing to the same element. So this condition fails and we will come out of the while loop and we will print our reverse string here so reverse string is nothing but this one e d c b a the string which at the input was a b c d and e now it got reversed e d c b a so let's run this code and check whether we have wrote everything properly so enter the string a b c d and e our reverse string is e b c d a is a b c d e okay it's cool so everything is working properly so guys this is the way where you can reverse a string without using a library function Thank you guys for watching the video, if you have any doubts, do comment it.